As you walk out the door this afternoon, I've got my jacket on, probably don't need it, but in the shade right now. So 59 degrees in Grand Rapids, 61 in Muskegon, and 60 currently in Holland. Just a really nice, comfortable afternoon. Those temperatures throughout the day in Holland, if you are headed to tulip time, are going to top out in the low 60s, so not changing much from where we're currently sitting at. We have another low pressure system headed our way, though, and it is going to bring chances for rainfall along with it. Here's that low sweeping in along with it, that cloud coverage and rain. Now this the good news about this rain is that it's moved to the overnight hour. So if you have any Saturday activities, maybe you're headed down to the parade in Holland. I'll be there tomorrow um, that rain not expected to impact it. Now, if you were looking forward to being able to view the northern lights, this is where it gets a little bit dicey as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into early tomorrow morning. We actually have a severe geomagnetic storm and because of that, the Space Weather Prediction Center has placed us under underneath a geomagnetic storm watch. What exactly does that mean? Well, one that the Aurora could potentially reach as far south as Alabama and Northern California, of course, being visible to us here in Michigan if we had the right viewing conditions. That's not necessarily going to be the case, though. It's not that it's going to be completely covered in clouds. Maybe the further south and east that you travel across the state, the higher the likelihood is that you'll beat the clouds before they move on in during those overnight hours tonight. But here in West Michigan, well, the arrival of that cold front comes at about midnight tonight and then continues to sweep through along with it. Chances for rainfall as well as cloud coverage. And the unfortunate thing is that you need it to be really, really dark out, right? So one, you can't get out there too early. It needs to be late enough that that Aurora, the northern lights is actually visible. And then in addition to that, you got to beat those rainfall chances. So this is something that we're watching throughout the evening hours. I think that there's a chance that you could see them, but it is relatively limited. An hour by hour forecast here is going to show you exactly that. Here's that cold frontal boundary and the cloud coverage that came along with it. Those clouds moved in right along the 11 o'clock to midnight hour. The rainfall sweeps through overnight tonight, and then it clears on out of here by early tomorrow morning. Now I don't think Saturday is going to be completely sunny, but it will be dry for a majority of the day. The only thing that we are continuing to mention is that along and east of US 131 in the areas that are seeing a little bit more cloud coverage today, I do think there's a chance for an isolated thunderstorm to develop a non severe thunderstorm at that. And then your Sunday looks to be mainly dry with mostly sunny skies. It's not until overnight Sunday and into Monday that we again see the chances for a couple isolated showers to return to the forecast. So Mother's Day really, really pleasant outlook in sight for you there. Mostly sunny conditions expected in a high between 70 to 71 degrees. Lakeshore boundary today, we've pretty much reached our afternoon high underneath those partly cloudy conditions in the low 60s. Temperatures tonight falling off into the upper 40s to low 50s with winds picking up throughout both your Saturday and Sunday. 13 on your side, 10 day forecast showing off that climb in temperatures beginning Mother's Day and extending into next week, consistently reaching into the low to mid 70s.